Hello everyone, Nina here. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to create a beautiful mixed media art journal page. We're going to use these owl stamps from the new release uh, from Art by Merlin. And I did stamp it and then I'm going to just color it. So let's just begin. So I stamped my images with onyx black ink uh, that is watercolor friendly. I'm just leaving this part to show you that I color start with the dark color, mid-tone, and then my lightest color. And here are the images colored. I'm going to leave all the colors on my blog. Check it. I'll leave it linked down below along with all the tools and the materials that I'm going to use today. To create the background, I'm going to press some of my Distress Inks colors that are matchy-matchy together. They're pinks, they're pale pinks, and they're different colors of purples. And then I'm going to spray a little bit with water, and then I'm going to press my background against it. Then I'm coming with my Art by Merlin uh, brush blender, and I'm going to take the same colors that I used previously on the background, and I'm going to lightly blend over my background using one of the beautiful patterns uh, stencil from Art by Merlin as well. And then I'm going here and there to make everything homogenous until I got this look. Then using the paper elements pad from the recent release, and I thought I'll create a background on top of my background with some stamps. Look how beautiful they are and they're all matching with the background. I have it in mind that I'm going to put the owls on the bottom left corner. So I'm leaving space for them. And here they are. I just put them with my hand there. Nothing is attached yet or glued. I'm just figuring where everything goes before I start gluing. So because be, before it's actually final and I start gluing. Now I'm happy with the placement of all the stamps. I am trying to bring stamps that are actually matching together and the colors are close to each other. And then I'm going to use my Art by Merlin glue stick and do stick everything around the owls. I'm not going to um, attach the owls to the background with the glue. I am actually going to apply some foam tape behind it to create some dimension. One foam tape layer for the big owl and for the smaller one, I'm gonna use two. So it's a little raised from the raised from the other owl to create fun dimension on the art journal page. This is a double face foam sheet, and I did create uh, cut a little piece that is the size of my big owl, and then for the smaller owl, I'm gonna double the layers and then I'm gonna attach it also to that background look how everything looks I love it so much so I did create a, I did add a pink stamp behind the yellow owl but behind the pink owl I added a blue stamp so everything is contrasting with the with the bottom layer of it then I am going to bring Notice that I tilted the owl a little bit to the left. So it is actually in perfect position with the smaller owl. So that caused its feet to be flying a little bit. Which is why I'm covering it with some flower clusters that I already wanted to ground the owl somewhere. So I thought grounding it with these flowers it will help grounding the images plus actually um, hiding its legs that are sort of looking like they are flying. While checking on my booklets for all the flowers, I found this very beautiful matching strip that I decided to add it over here. Look at the blue and the pink matching with the rest of the page. So I did cut it a, a little bit and then I added them on top of each other. And then here I'm coming with my enamel dots and star stickers. And this is how everything looks at the end. Look how beautiful everything is. Check the dimension on the owls. The beautiful shine from the little enamel stickers. Then I'm going to add it to my art journal. And 
it just looks amazing. I love this new release so much. I had so much fun creating this mixed media art journal page with you guys today. I'll leave you with the images. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye!